Welcome to Skiing Golden. It's March 29th, 2019. And since we last spoke, uh, we had a big warm up last week with temperatures uh, nearly to the double digits to mountaintop. That set off a fairly widespread natural avalanche cycle outside the ski area. Loose wet mostly to size three with the uh, odd slab triggered, but mostly it was loose wet avalanches. Uh, inside the ski area, we saw a little bit of loose wet activity. Uh, mostly size one and a half with one size two and a half in Super Bowl while it was closed. And now it's gotten cold again. Uh, you know, the surface was moist right to mountaintop on sunny slopes, and that has refrozen into quite a solid, solid crust. It's breaking down a little bit during the day uh, in the sun. But the shady slopes above about 2,100 meters, snow has stayed mostly cold. So you can still find some pretty good skiing in those areas. You may also find uh, the persistent slab problems that we've been monitoring here for a while, you know, high up uh, you know, on those northerly slopes, but they're probably pretty unlikely by this point. We're well into spring now, and you know, as the temperatures warm and the sun stays out, you definitely want to plan your trips accordingly, avoid solar aspects. <clears throat> especially in the afternoon and basically be suspect of anything with a cornice hanging above it, which is a lot of terrain right now. There's some pretty big cornices and they're quite unpredictable, but more likely to fail when warm. Uh, that's about it. Thanks to all our sponsors. And don't forget to get your tickets to Hung Like a Horse, which is happening on Sunday. It's the top priority of the winter. You guys want to see me ski?